Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Taquito Tower by Magdev. This is a first person exploration action game with an emphasis on the surreal and you may know as uh, you know, hopefully a frequent watcher of the Indie Impression series, I go out of my way to look for some of the weirdest games I can find. This is definitely up there in the list. So the uh, main screen here says, Pause, don't forget to read the instructions, dude. Press P to unpause. I have to say the instructions are actually pretty much necessary if you're going to jump into this one, but thankfully you have me, so you don't really have to worry about it too much, as I'm going to go over the basics right when we start. And uh, let me say, it's not a game that is necessarily controlled in the most uh, use maybe not useful is the right way, but the most obvious way. So here we are, we are in Taquito Tower right now, as you can see, we've got uh, a few options though of what to do, and you'll notice in our left hand we've got a, uh, I presume a Taquito, and uh, we can actually do a couple of things here. We can hold X to defend ourselves, you'll notice we'll run into a number of monsters in our course of exploration here, and we're not using traditional mouse look controls, we're actually looking with uh, the, well, we're not looking at all, we're just moving around with the arrow keys, sort of like an old dungeon crawler. And there is no option to look up and down, so it is just based on what you can see right now. Uh, there are some crazy monsters that are going to show up, and the only way we can hurt them is to bash them with our right hand here. I think when we're not holding a taquito, we can also use our left hand. I'm going to have to experiment with that. I spent only about a minute or two with this just to get my uh, very most basic understanding of what's going on here. Yeah, I guess, I guess your left hand is useless unless you have a burrito in it which at the moment I do not. So there's some crazy monsters, an amazing, amazing soundtrack. I have to say, I love the music in this game. Uh, and by collecting more of these Taco Bell kids meals, that is going to allow us to have a few more burritos. Burritos are used uh, just for healing, essentially. You'll notice our HP in the top left corner is going down per hit. And as we fight these Earthbound-esque monsters, uh, you'll notice we'll take a little bit of damage each time as we proceed down into the tower. Uh, you'll notice also some crazy textures on every freaking surface, and if you look above us, you can actually see the floors that we just came from. So in this case, we're actually uh, doing a sort of a reverse tower, tower traversal, and if you look in the top left, or top right corner rather, you can actually see a map of the area at hand, the pink areas being the places we can walk in, obviously. We can fight this crazy bird man here, and there are some... Taco Bell kids meals over here I'd love to grab. Uh, all the fighting takes place on a like a beat basis, so uh, on the beat of the music we're actually going to do damage here, and there doesn't seem to be anything in this room at all, it's just an empty square. Uh, so you'll notice the characters, oh, you dead. Fell through 11 floors, 8 2 burritos, exploded 0 bombs, 23 enemies died, press R to restart. I'm not actually sure how to get bombs, that is a thing that I have not encountered yet, maybe when you get further down that'll happen. I also noticed there's an attack plus zero in the UI at the top left corner, and I'm not sure what to make of that just yet. Because uh, I haven't gotten anything to augment my attack power, although maybe that is a thing that I can do. Uh, right now, the timer seems to be moving very quickly. You know, you don't have a lot of time to explore each floor. Uh, things are just breaking away. There's a star man. Let's fight him. And a UFO. This definitely seems evocative of Earthbound in a few ways. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but the sense of just surreal bizarreness uh, certainly quite palpable. And I really enjoyed the combination of these weird textures with the crazy background music, the premise, the whole thing, the, the whole design of it is just absolutely out there. I died already. I should have eaten a burrito. Oh, there goes my soul again. Let's try that one more time. Let's go for uh, some burritos right off the bat, and I should probably defend uh, in the enemy attack phase. I'll get the hang of it, don't worry, this is like my third run. Or fourth run, I guess, technically. Alright, so I'll look for an enemy. Let's uh, let's try defending this time, see what he does. Okay, defend it on his turn. Then, okay, we'll just reverse each time. I'll go attack, defend, attack, defend, and then it doesn't... Okay, it took one HP away from me there, I'm gonna miss that. Oh, did it kill the UFO? No, he's still behind me. So, I mean, you hold down the button, which is a thing that I'm not really used to. I was expecting, you know, each time you want to attack, you just hit the button once. But in this case, since everything is so rhythmically based, uh, it is a, a new way to approach combat. And I think it's kind of cool, actually. Uh, it makes you think about the strategy of fighting a little bit more. Wow, I did not eat burritos like I just said I was going to do. Uh, first thing I should do is just eat the burritos straight away, because you can have more than the starting amount of health. And I'm not sure if you have to be straight up running into a surface for the burritos to be eaten. It sort of seems that way at times. Alright, attack, block, attack, oh, block, attack. There doesn't seem to be a leveling system either, which is sort of strange. Uh, although maybe there is, and I'm just not sure how that manifests, because I would think that would be how you would get these uh, attack powers up. 
You very well may be able to just get by strictly by getting Taco Bell kids meals and completely avoiding the defense element of combat. Not really sure about that yet. Finish the UFO! Okay, he's gone. Okay, need more burritos, need more burritos. I'm calling them burritos, but I think they're supposed to be taquitos. Seem a little fat to be taquitos. I thought those were like cigar shaped or cigar in thickness, some sort of a thing like that. Uh, there's one. Oh, will I get it in time though? Get it, yes. All right, now eat it. Yo. Okay, totally empty room, couple of monsters, no secrets around. I don't know what secrets I'm looking for here, but there aren't any. Uh, that does seem like a thing that I would sort of expect to see in a game like this. Maybe you could push around some of the tiles or something. A lot of enemies in these particular uh, levels. It seems like this stuff is all randomly generated, but it's probably randomly generated in the template format, so there's probably a number of things that can be drawn upon, and I just so happen to uh, keep running into some of the similar ones. I I've seen that s totally open square one a few times, but that one's probably a little bit noteworthy. Maybe you should just run around and forget some of the enemies this time. So I'm not sure what the uh, the major overarching goal is here, whether we want to just get to the furthest floor possible, or accrue as many enemy deaths as we can. I don't know. Oh, I saw a kid's me. Oh, there's one. Get it. it! Takes a few moments before he'll actually attack the thing. Okay, eat the burrito. Attack, okay. Karate chop. Oh, we got the springy dude here. The enemy designs are certainly pretty wild and definitely entertaining. Uh, I would sort of like to see if this game can be finished like one of those uh, bestiaries that shows you like all the enemies that you could have fought with their names or something. I always thought that was an interesting thing when they did that in like the old SNES games or something. Particularly uh, Hyper Zone comes to mind because you were fighting all these abstract shapes for the whole game and then when the thing ends it's like, oh they all had names, I didn't know that. I don't remember what any of those names are. Oh, jeez! These guys look scary. Alright, I should have eaten a burrito there. That was my mistake. I love that you can look up and see all the tiles, and then the floor keeps breaking away from out from under you. Uh, it's a, some cool touches to this game. It's certainly bizarre, uh, but it definitely is interesting at the same time, and that's a, a risk sometimes people run. When they make something weird enough, sometimes you forego uh, wonder in a certain way just for the sake of being strange. And I feel like, although that may be the case in certain ways, uh, it doesn't forsake uh, the wonder element. Uh, although I wish there were some more textures. I mean, I feel like I've seen a lot of these same color schemes now. Uh, maybe as you get further down into the labyrinth, maybe you'll run into uh, more elaborate and crazy color patterns. I think that would sort of make sense. When you get down, things get more and more chaotic, which is sort of uh, reflectant of the enemies that you'd be fighting. And I would also like to see maybe the, uh, the grounds start to open up and become slightly more elaborate and open format, and maybe the mazes would actually take a little longer to solve, and then you would have to augment by having slightly different uh, timers, but I guess this sort of uh, works well with the 10 second thing. Oh, uh, you dead. Maybe we'll do one more. I'm certainly enjoying this game, I have to say. Uh, it's surprisingly addictive for how minimal it is. There isn't a whole lot to do here. Eat burritos, fight weird enemies, and yet, I am interested. Mostly the music, too. Like, the music is seriously a big draw for me. It is, uh, really out there in a way that I don't hear too often in soundtracks. It definitely reminds me of some of the, uh, crazy parts of, like, the Castlevania Aria of Sorrow soundtrack. And I'm not sure how useful that map is in the top corner. I mean, I guess it is in theory, but at the same time, it's like, well, I don't really see myself on the map, so I kind of have to figure out where I am to even have any chance of using it for anything. I'm getting a bad draw here. I'm not really running into a whole lot of kids' meals. There's one. Alright, let's eat it right away. I'm just gonna try and eat these things the second I find them. And hopefully just accrue tons of HP, which should allow me to stay alive a lot longer. See, I keep running into these dead ends. I was kind of hoping maybe I could push my way out of there. Oh, there's an enemy. A couple of them, actually. I'm not gonna fight in a meaningful way. Let's just see if we can get to this kids' meal here. Three, two, one. Got it. Eat it. 18, 19 health, floor 7. It's an interesting decision, too, that we're going down in the tower for once. I guess that sort of seems a little bit more foreboding in a way. Uh, it's usually the further down you get into something, the scarier it gets. Although, I guess if you go up as well in traditional uh, Japanese game lore, it usually seems to be that things get crazier up top as well. So, like, in the middle, everything's cool. Either polar opposite end, you know, pretty crazy. Let's eat that burrito right away. Alright, slam it into my face. 
It's a, an interesting way to eat a burrito, but I, I think this character's got it down. You can just slam the thing into your face as hard as you can. Good things are bound to happen for you. Um, big open room, two enemies, nothing health-wise. I think I will just run around in the other end for a while, see what happens. I don't think the enemies are really uh, robo uh, robust enough in their AI to come after me, although maybe that's intentional. They are pretty silly-looking enemies. They take damage from falling down each floor. It sometimes seems like they die when they fall down. Alright, let's eat that right away. If you eat enough burritos, you could get uh, another level up or something, because I still, as you noticed, uh, probably I haven't gotten any levels. Oh, there's a bomb! Get it! Oh, I detonated the bomb, and it killed the enemy, uh, but it didn't hurt me, so I guess those are strictly helpful items. Okay, these guys are kind of terrifying. They look like a cactus with scary child hands on them. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I want this! I'm not gonna have time to get it, though. Alright, maybe it moved to the next floor, I'm not really sure. Uh, I wanna get this and not get attacked. Eat the burrito! Okay, run away. Certainly seems like a bit of a nightmare if something was uh, going on like this in your mind while you're trying to sleep. Uh, and also, pardon for the many times me changing the, uh, the angle that I'm looking at. It is sort of a necessity, unfortunately, the way that I'm playing this game. You do have to always be on the move. Oh, lots of dead ends here. Well, the enemies don't seem to be too after me right now. Try and capitalize on that. Is there any more health around? Doesn't look like it. What's around this corner? Nothing. What's around this corner? Nothing. That floor is a little bit frustrating. There's like nothing to see. What's going on over here? Oh, there's one. Eat the burrito. Now run. Okay, now I feel like I'm in a Pac-Man maze or something and the ghosts are coming after me. And I've got burritos as my power pills. I guess it's not all that far away from the truth, is it? Alright, eat the burrito. 14 health. Eat it. Oh, got another one. I see a bomb over there. I might want to actually attack that. Oh, this is a scary level. Uh, there is actually some stuff I could do here, but I'm not going to get to it in time. Okay, blow up the bomb. Got a burrito. I'm still at 20 health, so that's good news. I wonder if I don't start taking down some of these enemies, if they're just going to add up to the point where I'm not going to be able to get away. Uh, or, you know, maybe they're just dying enough from me changing levels. I think this guy might finish me off. Uh, again, I realize I should be defending. Oh, you dead. Alright, well, I got through 25 floors, and I reached the point of exploding some bombs. I almost killed 50 enemies. Uh, definitely a pretty entertaining game, I have to say. Oh, I blew up another bomb. I'd like to see the, the stat change there. This definitely seems like a game that could use some achievements or something, or maybe a leaderboard, or some sort of, like, an online way to sync up with your friends and see who can get the furthest. This is definitely a surprisingly entertaining game, definitely bizarre, and uh, definitely worth a look to. So the information, if you want to go grab this yourself, is going to be right in the description of this video. Uh, you can either play it as a client, or if you want to play it through the web browser, both of those are options for you. And if you want to go check out even more strange indie games, I have a website called indie-impressions.com, which will have a link as well in the description, uh, where you can check out over 500 other videos that I've done for this series. Uh, they're all tagged and neatly categorized for you, so if you want to check them out, feel free. There's plenty to see and plenty to do over there, as well as uh, my other social media links that are in that description as well, like my Twitter, my Facebook, and such. So browse around, see if there's anything you like, and be sure to leave any support you can. I do appreciate every little bit of it. Any likes and comments are always appreciated if you uh, have any comments specifically on this one. I'd love to hear what you think could make this a better game. I think so far it's off to a really good start, but if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. So let me know, and of course, please be sure to stop back again tomorrow. New episodes are every single day. Indie Impressions have been running for well over a year straight without missing a single day, so with your support, I will keep doing that as long as humanly possible. Uh, so I hope to hear from you all, and I hope you have a lovely night. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you later.